everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you want to make the world's easiest envelopes? These are absolutely the world's easiest envelopes. The fold is so basic and so simple, but I'm going to show you three different takes on this envelope um, to give you some ideas of how you can use it. So this is super simple fun, and I'm just sitting here mass making some little envelopes. I've got a ton of book pages, so the base I'm using today is a, just a good old book page, and I've got some uh, old, um, you know, fiction story here that I'm pulling from, and I've got some other things that I'm pulling from, but any book page will do. You can make little envelopes or big envelopes, so let's jump into it. Okay, let me show you the first prototype. All right, this little, oh yes, I have Lon Guy, and he is uh, across the street trimming away, and I can hear him all the way here through the window. Yay! I hope it's not too noisy, but here's the first envelope, and I just put uh, some little decorative items on the front, and it opens up like so, and then inside I put, um, this is ephemera of today. This is my lottery ticket that did not win, so there you go. I'm still in the game, yep. Uh, but that is technically disposable, throwaway paper from life, and that qualifies as ephemera. Although, does the meaning change because those of us who make junk journals like to hang on to disposable throwaway papers, so suddenly they're not disposable and throwing throw away, we tuck them into things. I know, right? But somebody a hundred years from now might find that interesting. Yeah, there you go. Um, not a winner, sorry. Okay, second thing, I made this little guy out of a uh, field guide. It was a little book of field guides. I just thought the picture was so cute. And I just mounted it on some uh, this is old ledger. I had a little piece hanging over and I just hanging over hang uh, left over and I just sewed around it and glued a little uh, punch out on it and there you go. It's a little just a little interesting find. Um, a journal card of uh, mystique and intrigue and interest. Uh, there you go. So lots of fun. I put the word remember. Somebody gifted me this lovely uh, uh, die. Yes, it's a no, it's a die cut. I always have to remember. Is it the die or the die cut? Well, the thing that was cut out was the die cut. Uh, the die is the thing that cuts. Yeah, okay, that's confusing as mud. All right, little picture here. Just use some Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. Do, 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 do. We're going to make these too, by the way. They're super easy, and I just want to show you one basic, the world's easiest envelope design, and then different ways that you can decorate it. So, it has a little pretty uh, petticoat tail down here, and on the back, it, I put a little extra pocket just for fun. I have some scraps sitting on my desk. Um, looks somewhat like this. Yes, that's adorable, right? But if you have anything like this hanging around, this is great to add little extra things. So I made a little piece down here. And this is actually just a torn piece of a field guide. I thought it was really pretty. I just put some basic stickles on it and I didn't back it on anything. I just put it in here because I thought the person who received the journal might like to add this somewhere in their journal or in a different journal. Who knows? And here's a pretty punch out, a cut. This is a die cut um, of a butterfly that somebody gifted me. Thank you very much. And um, so that can be glued anywhere they would like as well. So I thought I'd give them the freedom to play in their own journal. I'm like, I can't have all the fun. That's not fair, right? Okay. So just some, just a very fun, very simple idea. All right. And I just did a little cluster and I had this little girl on the front was part of a notepad and she just had such attitude. I just thought, oh, she's got to go on there. And uh, okay, we just tuck these babies back in there and it's easy to get things to fit inside. You can trim them or um, cut them to shape, whatever you like. And this can be uh, clipped onto a page or tucked into a pocket in a journal or used as a standalone. You could put a gift card in here. You could uh, put um, like a greeting card in here, or you could put this on top of a gift. Wouldn't that be nice? But I like to make these en masse for junk journals because they're just so darn cute and they're so easy. Okay, let's do this. Number two is this guy. Okay. And uh, this is prototype number two. It has a stamp on the front. I love to collect old stamps. This is um, a decorated paper clip. And this is a triangle pocket with a fun little butterfly tucked inside because I just happened to have it and there, there it fit perfectly. There you go. And it had a little bit of the blue color going. So this was just a little cluster of things that I attached to um, a paper clip. I just glued the paper clip down to the back of this and it becomes a very easy on and off. Why? Because this particular envelope, I wanted to show you it's the same basic uh, envelope design, but it does, what's that noise? My computer just made a strange noise. Now you're plugged in. Don't know what you are. 
It does this. Oh my gosh, look at all that extra writing space. Pam doesn't steal writing space eternally from all her uh, junk journals. She actually gives some back. And in the flap of an envelope, who saw that coming? Nobody I know, right? Right? Okay, so, and with the paper clip, that paper clip's right down, and it's very easy and functional in your junk journal. And won't that blow their socks off them when they see that? They'd never see that coming, right? No, 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 no. Okay, so you open up the flap, and yet again, this one functions as a regular envelope. I did a little uh, uh, punch out there um, with this guy, if you happen to have a circle punch. If you don't, it's not mandatory. And this was just a leftover piece of avocado paper that I put a little die cut on because I had it and it had some splashes on it and I put a little extra blue on it and this is a really cool photo isn't that cool I mean look at look at these people were they were literally going to town yeah I'm, I'm sure that's where they were headed because that's what you do when you're dressed like that you go to town yeah that's not lounging around the house that's not crafting wear right am I, am I right right I know um, so I thought that was just fun to share I love those old time photos. They are just so cool. And a little extra writing space in case that little accordion wasn't extra enough extra writing space. We want to have plenty so everybody is happy. And there we go. So that's what that was. So we will make one of these very easy. Um, there was a butterfly tucked in here. Oh, where, oh, where did you go? There you are. Now you're back in place, just like I left you. Okay. Um, we will make you. Okay, I'm trying to put my prototypes so I know where they are. I know where they are. They're right there. Okay. And here is number three. We are also using the same concept. This is very easy to make. And did I do anything on the back? Oh, I just put a big, um, I had this big die cut that somebody gave me, which I really love. And I thought it looked really pretty on there. I did give this one a separate closure. I'm, these are probably not, oh, they're not bad, not bad. Okay, see those, those are uh, Nouveau drops. They dry pretty fast, that's kind of nice. And the liquid pearls, they dry pretty fast. But I did a little uh, tie closure on this baby and it opens up. There's a little extra pocket on the front, and there's lots of, uh, I did a special layering technique on here. It's not that special, but it, I just wanted to show you an option if you want to decorate the inside of your envelope to make it look a little bit different. Somebody suggested that recently, so I thought I'd incorporate it. So thank you very much for that idea. Um, and I used a lot of washi tape in this one. So if you have washi tape, like I have washi tape, that sounds like an old song. You know... Lizzie, like I know Lizzie. Who knows that song? It's not Lizzie, it's somebody else. Um, but you can use a washi tape up on something like this. So in here, I put, this was kind of cute, just um, I love old stationery. So I used a washi tape sticker to, um, to hold together a piece of very old, it has a bridge on it, I don't know if you can see that, but um, very old, pretty uh, stationery. And that, with this long design, will fit in there. And then what else do we have? Oh, we, I just, uh, I love these little um, uh, calendar poem things, like little nice quotes and poems and stuff. Those are always nice to find tucked into junk journal. So if you come across those, usually they come in a big stack, so you get a big, big bang for your buck. Um, they are fun to tuck in. And this is just a little piece from uh, an address book. And I thought that would be fun. Maybe somebody would like to put down some of their favorite people that they love for birthdays and things like that and their addresses. And this can be their little envelope reminder to go ahead and send them a birthday gift. So, oh, and one more thing. I had a little piece, a little extra leftover piece from that uh, antique leisure. 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 No, it's a ledger. Um, sheep. What else can I see on here? Bulk sheep. And we have inlaid balance keep birth. Hmm, there you go. That's what I, I gleaned from that. Bulk sheep balance. Bulk sheep balance. Hang green balance. Kang green balance. Maybe it's like kangaroo green or something. Maybe they dyed the wool kangaroo green. Who knows? We just don't know of these things. They did very unusual strange things way back when and we just oogle over it. Um, so there you go. Very fun. Let's make these babies. Let's do this. All righty. Okay. Now, let me just make sure you can see all right. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down a little closer. Straighten you up. Have I got my, are we recording? Gosh, I hope so. Okay, so, world's easiest envelope design. Okay, um, I think I've shown you this before, but we're just gonna do three, tip, three different designs. Okay, so you've got a page from a book, maybe a fiction book, can be any book. Um, get it out. And now you're looking at it with the text is going the right side direction. Turn it over. And now you fold it up to as high as you want it to go. 
and then you fold the top over, maybe leaving at least a quarter of an inch. Make it as long or as short as you like. And da 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 da, you have just completed your world's easiest envelope fold. Now we will use our um, adhe adhesive of choice. I'm going to use Fabrifix because it's quick and easy, but you can use tape, you can use uh, white glue, you can use um, any glue you want. And you just you fl glue this part, okay? Because then that's going to be go up exactly as high as you need it to and not a smidge higher. If you glue the back, you won't quite know where to start. Uh, so there, you are done. You officially have an envelope. That's it. See, there you go. It functions like an envelope. The world's easiest envelope, right? Now from that point, it's all about decorating. So let's see what I did here. Well, um, first of all, I started with this little pretty uh, frill on the bottom and I think I grabbed, well, oh, maybe I have some already. I was goofing around with a Martha Stewart uh, punch and I had some of these left over so let me see if I can go ahead and use these up and my goal today is really to use up the things on my desk in that pile over there so instead of going and punching up new things I'm just see this was like a a dud but I'm going to try and hide the fact it was a dud yeah so it won't be a dud anymore because it will be um, it will be brought into the fold okay here we go Maybe we'll put you on the front this time. This one, I'll show you some alternatives too. Oh no, hang on. This one I turned, this was actually a pocket in the back. So let's go with that. This is a little shorter, but I can still make a pocket with it. You think I can't, but I can. Yeah, okay. There we go. I'm going to glue that right on there. I'm going to have those hanging down. Let me get my, here's my Fabrifix glue. And okay, I'm probably not doing this right, but I just, we're just going to put a little baby bit of glue there. Not much. She doesn't take much. And we're going to have the rest hang down. That's right. Okay. Put that at the edge. And we're going to have to figure out where we got to trim it off. There we go. Got that on. Let's flip it over. Let's trim it. And you're saying, but Pam, it's all goofed up there in the middle. I know. I know. I see that. I do. I am not the world's best die cutter. Um, this is a common theme that happens in my life that, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, and it's a, a proof put in the pudding that you don't have to be really good at anything. You just kind of have to wiggle your way through or know how to get out of it. And uh, there's lots of ways. And our favorite way, what's our favorite way? Let me hear it. We cover it up. Exactly. That's what we're going to do. So let me go into my, this is my tickle trunk. Today I'm working with my clusters box. Here they are, my clusters box. Now, see, this is kind of a little weird. Maybe I'm going to just stick something there. Like maybe I have this one. Okay, no, that's too big. Um, oh, this is kind of cute. I'm just going to cover that. That would look kind of cute, wouldn't it? Just like that. That's kind of cute. Okay, you're a possibility. You are a contender. Maybe I want more color contrast though. Okay, can't, you can't see what I'm looking at. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me back up. There we go. All right. Um, I'm just kind of seeing if I can find something with a good contrast. Not some good contrast here. What we got? Oh, you're awfully big. No, we don't. You're too big. Aren't you too big? Oh, we could, do, we could do that. Something like that. That's pretty, too. Um, all right. We are going to make a decision in the next four, three, two. Maybe we'll use that one. It's a nice contrast. Okay, we'll use that one. One. All right, we got it. Sometimes you got to do that for yourself. Just, uh, just give it a go. And see, this is this is already kind of a halfer. So maybe we're just we're just going to let that free. We don't need that. No, it's just going to go by. <laughs> and uh, we're going to make it work. It's all going to be good. I could even hang that down. Yeah, I could even make that put that right where it was supposed to be. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let me ink this up though. Feeling very inky. I'm working with gathered twigs today. Let me zoom in a little. You're like a hundred miles away. Okay gathered twigs. I pre-moistened my gathered twigs with a little bit of water just so it would pop um, and, and be easy to transfer onto these lovely little things. Okay. And then I think I will just, I'm going to fill in that hole. Now, if I didn't have that, I would come along and just put something random in there just for fun to fill in that spot. So don't be thrown if something doesn't punch right. No, no, no. You don't go backwards. Just keep going forwards when you're making stuff. Yeah, don't feel like, oh, I can't do it. I got to start over. No, no, none of that. You just keep going forward and you just see where it goes because you've got nothing to lose at that point. Um, right? Right? So there you go. <laughs> okay, maybe we get that flower. No, not enough. Okay. I feel like I want to put something on there. 
Well, we got to pick. See, this is where the little girl was. This little girl. Where'd she go? Oh, tell me you haven't left the building. That her, see, she was right here. That was her. Yeah, now I've got her sister. She might go on the front of this. She could go there, though. That would look really cute. But maybe we'll put... See, we put a cluster here. Now, I've confused everything. I've done it completely different. Not really. The cluster was up here, but I'm going to put it down here because of our little situation. So I'm going to just move that entire package down here. And this is the hardest part for me. I... You're going to rarely see me fussy cut. Here I go. This is Pam fussy cutting. Hold on to your breath. It's not going to be pretty. You're supposed to move the paper. I always do it wrong. That's okay, though because it really doesn't matter in the long run. You just get it all trimmed out and you're good. All right, so I could put her like that. She would look very cute like that. Do we want to ink her? Maybe a little, just a little, just to give her a little pop, a little Sally Popperoo. There we go, you're all popping. Popping with the best one. You want some lace? No, you don't. Okay, fine. Well, you're not getting any then. Strange, you know what's strange about this? She's there on the backside too. Isn't that weird? I wasn't expecting her to be there, but she is. All right, I'm just gonna put her down there. I think she looks very cute. Very cute. What would we like to glue her with? How about the Fabrifix since we like to use that a lot? Okay, just a little bit on the back. This is what it looks like if you've never seen it. Here's the bottle. Mm -hmm. That's just my favorite glue. Not sponsored, just like the glue. Okay, here you go. There we go. All right. And you can put her on a little angle. She doesn't have to be all square pants. No. All right, so we have that. And that's very good. And I did take, if I can show you this. I did take the Aquarelle Stabilo pencil, the most amazing pencil ever known to mankind, to increase the grunge factor of what we're doing. Can you read that? I hope so. 8046, Aquarelle Stabilo. Okay, so what you do is you run around the outside of your little design, and it can be anywhere. Yep, yep, anywhere. Okay, just give it a good little rundown, wherever your little folds are and stuff like that. And then you have a little squirt bottle, which is where? Where? Oh, here. Right where I left it. Yeah, see, I have, plate. I have places for stuff now. There's a little water. I take a little finger, finger water and just do this. Yeah, just do kind of, I'm skipping the whole Q-tip. I'm just, yeah, for some reason it works even better without the Q-tip. Forget the Q-tip. There we go. Now we have grunge. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's very cool. And um, what else did I do? I ran around the outside with a little um, thin marker which I will call, whoop, you need to go back in there. Uh, this is a Sharpie pen in fine. And uh, I just thought I'd give it a little decor. And this is, this is hand decor without a ruler. So it, it could be a little scary, but I kind of like it that way because it looks more done by hand. Yeah, and I like the little roughness of it. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, here we go, going around, just going around to give it edging, which I think is extra fancy in the, um, envelope world, you know, as far as envelope aficionados go. If you have hand-drawn edging, yeah, now you, you've got something. That's not just an everyday um, envelope. No, it's not. Okay, so we have you. Now, I am, I'm, I'm just going to take this and go, I'm just going to go around her design. I'm not going to do it in the Stabilo, because I just want a, like a subtle, a subtle, like enhancement of her. And there she is. I don't know who she is. What, what, what should we call her? What, Sally? Okay, all right, no problem. All right, Sally, w you need more. We, we need like, okay, this is what we have. Okay, and this is what we had here. So now on the top part, what I did was I put some rubber stamps. So let's do that. And um, okay, just grabbing any rubber stamp. And this one's very random. It is a button. Here we go. It's a peg stamp and it's a button. I get mine from Nora Jane, no affiliation, but I just love her rubber stamps on Etsy. Nora N, N as in Nancy, O-R-A, Jane. She has a, a really cool rubber stamps. Not rubber stamps, peg stamps. I got the wrong color. I meant to grab black and now I have brown buttons. But you know what I'm gonna do? I am not going backwards, no. Because I just gave you a big lecture, you can't go backwards. How can I go backwards now? I'm gonna grab my black soot and I'm gonna stamp right over them. That's what I'm gonna do. And I think it's gonna give me a multi-dimensional button. Can you see that? Let's go really close so you can see what the disaster this will happen. Okay, here, I'm in the black. I don't care if it's exactly on top. I think a little off is actually okay. It, it um, adds to, here's my favorite excuse, adds to the character, gives it like shadow dimension. And now we're talking, I got some serious, whoop, you can't see anything. I've got some serious buttonage. Mm -hmm, pretty cool, huh? I'll back up a little, okay. There we go. Now we need, we so need some inking. 
Now this one was inked in brown. Okay, maybe I'm gonna ink this one in black because I'm here and I've got my black uh, spool with black ink on it. Got that idea from Jessica Rapp. Thank you, Jessica. You are brilliant in action when it comes to junk journal making. Make sure you check her out, she's awesome. Okay, here we go. And going around, gotta be tender with these little guys. They're only a book page thick. Now, if you want thicker, you can just double them up. Just double them up and then uh, magically they're thicker. They're twice as thick, can you believe it? I know, I know. <laughs> All right, yep. It's crazy town today. We're having fun with the paper. Hey, this is good, innocent fun and nobody can stop us from having fun. And this is our fun. Well, okay, they can come in and ask for dinner and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna come back and have more fun when they're not looking. When they're all full and carb comaing on the couch, we sneak back in here with our papers. That's what we do, yep. And uh, it's fun. Okay, let's get around the edges, so like soften those, hewing the corners, okay. And now what I'm gonna do for my next trick, this one, I took my brown dauber and I ran over the top to get the brown. This time I'm going to run over the top with black. Let's see what that looks like. I have no idea. I haven't done that yet with black, but I want you to see different options. So here we go. Go lightly at first. So it's just graying it, but this will give you a nice contrast. So your flap has some definition. It's an optional way to play. We like ways to play. I should probably put something under me, but I didn't. No. So now we have that. That's kind of cool. And then, and then my beloved sister-in-law brought me this from Germany, which was so sweet of her. And it's just paper lace. It was on a roll and I thought that would look nice right there. So I it, grab anything you have, it doesn't have to be paper lace. You could punch it out, you could tear it out. You could just put a piece of string or embroidery floss, or you could um, uh, use real lace, you know, totally use real lace or whatever you have uh, or no lace at all. But are, are, you, are you doing this with me as we're doing it? I think that would be fun. That's more fun when you do it with me. Then I don't feel so alone. <laughs> feel, please jump in, do it with me. I'll wait, just put me on pause. Oh, do you know you can speed me up if I don't go fast enough or if you're like bored to tears? Yeah, you can speed me up. Um, or you can slow me down if I go too fast. Yeah, I know, you guys have all the power, you really. Um, okay, so here's what they look like. The two different ones, same concept, but they look different. Uh, that's kind of pretty, right? So, so now let's turn them over. This one has um, just a torn piece of field guide and a, pu a punched out cut, die cut. That's the hardest thing to say in the world. Is it just me? <laughs> and then we have this on the back. Now, technically this is a pocket. So I could tuck something cute in there. Hold on, hold your horses. All right, I have produced, this is the inside of an old book. This is the first page and I really like this. So I, I, it's blank on this side and I think it would make, it's thick enough to be its own junk journal card. So I am just going to guess how wide this has to be. Guessing, guessing I'm about there. I think that would be good. All right, I just don't feel like cutting it. And now you can be as tall as that. All right, so let's try this. There we go. And now we have that. And maybe I will ink the edges just a little bit because I'm using the black, so I'm gonna to continue to use the black as an accent here, but you can use different colors. There's no rules, no. Don't anybody let you convince you there's rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. There is no book of rules. There is no junk journal jail. There is not. It's okay, you just play and have fun. <laughs> That's right. Okay, now this is a little pocket. If I didn't seal it all up, yeah, it's gonna get in there. Did I get in there? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So we have a little pocket in the back. Now you could have made a deeper pocket. You're not like a Goomba like me who made your pocket too shallow. But let's say you're like, oh, my pocket's too shallow. I know I know. You can make it fatter. Just grab another strip of something and we're just gonna build it up and make a fatter pocket. That's what we're gonna do because you know what? I made my pocket too thin. So let's just measure it up so it comes out the right. There we go, okay. Maybe I should put that there, but I don't know. Let me ink this up. Just a little bit, edges, and then let's put a little bit of, little bit of glue on this. We're gonna, we're gonna glue this one because that's gonna tell me exactly where to put it. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Put it on here. And now I have a pocket of substance. That's right. Nobody's gonna tell me we don't have a deep enough pocket. That's a deep enough pocket. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. 
And if you want, see on this one, I, I'll bet you missed it, but it's so fascinating, I have to show you. See, I just hand drew in a little Zentangle-like design around there. So we're going to go ahead and do that to unify, huh? unify all of this together. Huh? A little smaller. Okay. All right. So you can pick any design. It doesn't have to be complicated. The thing is, it just sort of marries everything together. Okay. So I'll do the one I did there, which is basically just three circles. So it looked like a little baby cluster of grapes and a line and a baby cluster of grapes. Okay. Baby cluster of grapes, baby cluster of grapes, and then you just connect them. And now you can have a baby cluster of grapes. You could actually do two baby clusters. Let's do one there. And this one is a butting it there. I should have put it in the center, but I didn't. And that's just the way it goes sometimes around here. Okay. My baby cluster of grapes, a butting my baby cluster of grapes. Okay. And then we're just going to draw a line. It doesn't have to be fancy or super or, or, you know, rocket science or am I still in shot? Okay. Or anything like that. But what you're doing is you're creating cohesiveness. Oh, I completely missed it. <laughs> oh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, there we go. All right. Eh? Eh, it's just a little something. You know, it's just a little something. It's, it, you know, it doesn't have to be anything enormous. Um, but that's what we got. I don't know. I just feel like drawing hearts here. Let me draw some hearts. Okay. Yeah, let, let, so I mean, like you can start to have fun and just do goofy little things because you're there and you can play. And it is okay to hand draw things. Don't think that everything has to come out of a package. You know what I mean? You can hand draw things and have fun with it because this is your stuff and you're allowed there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have this. This comes out. Have a nice little writing space. And you could, you could put um, uh, stamps and stuff on there. Okay, you want to do something on there? All right, we'll do something. Uh, I'll get something out of the old cluster. How about we're going to stick this there? That's pretty. All right. And this was just from scraps on my desk, just little bits and pieces. And um, that's when these come in really handy. Yeah. They have to, like when you just need a little something. You know what I mean? You just need a little something sometimes. There it is. There's a something that we needed. I'm just going a little extra overboard here because I like to extra fuss. If we're, we're only going to do three of these, so we're kind of leveling up like what we can do. And you can use any, all or uh, of these ideas or completely throw them all in the bathwater with the baby and then throw everything out and do your own ideas, which is even better. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's our little journal card in the back. We got nothing. We got nothing in here. All right, what did you have inside? Super Sally Pants. I always forget. Okay, we made, we had today's ephemera and we had a homemade journal card of leftover interesting whatnots. So let's go ahead. Oh, and we also decorated the front of the flap, which I think looks nice. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to explore on this desk. I'm looking. <sighs> okay, I have this little piece of lace, that which would fit perfectly. That would be a nice find. Yeah, kind of like that. That's a nice find. All right, but first, because I want the this lace to pop a little bit more. Um, do I want? I should use the black, right? Okay, let me. Do, oh, don't tear it, Pam. Okay, just go lightly. Yep. Um, where's that paper? Here, I'm gonna put a piece of paper down. Is this anything important? No. This is my glue mat. That's what this is. Hello, glue mat. I'm gonna use black soot. Do a little rubbing here. I'm just gonna. Yeah, now I'm getting a little bit more color. Just so when I put the lace on, you can actually see the lace pop against the black. Maybe I didn't even take it down this far. Look at me. I'm just going, oh, bold. I am bold today. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to take a lace. If you don't have lace, use paper. Just use a different paper or something. That would work just fine. I'm just going to put that there because should I let it hang around? Oh, that might look pretty too if I let it hang up down a little bit. Okay. As you can see, and all these techniques are very easy, and it just depends on what supplies you have on hand. And, and what do we always say? Never let lack of a craft supply stop you. That's right. I don't want to hear, but I don't have that. No, you improvise. You're a crafter. That's why we're crafters, because we create something out of nothing. So if we don't have something, you, you, you use your ingenuity, you scratch your, your brain, and you say, all right, I know I don't have anything. What am I going to use if I did, like, if I did have something or what, of what I have? There we go. That's very pretty. Okay. That's what we're going to do. 
Um, and this time, let's just use for, for um, fun, you can use a glue stick. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick. This is a good strong glue stick and it will glue like a, a thin fabric to paper. Um, but if you don't have that, then I would probably use a white glue or um, the Fabrifix will always work in 99.9% .9 of circumstances. But um, these are, this is a good, reliable glue stick. If you like to work with glue stick, it can be your friend. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to have the tail. Whoops, you're pretending like you're too short, but I cut you to size, so you must fit. That's right. Oh, maybe I cut you a smidge short, but that's all right. There we go. Oh, there we go. There, now we have a double layer flap flap there. And we have that, which is very pretty on the inside. I think I'm just going to, there's this, give us a little extra on that crease. Do this for fun. Yeah, very good. All right, so now let's pop a few fun balls in there. Hang on. Okay, so I found the rest of the field guide. It must have been a French field guide or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, and since I use this in the back, maybe I'm going to mount this on the back here too. And then I can pop that inside and it'll be a little matching set. How cute will that be? Let's see how wide you are. We don't want you to be too tall. Let me, let me cut you down to size. No, let me glue you on first and then I'll cut you. What? No, maybe I should cut you there. You're kind of cute. You're both cute. I should maybe get you both on there, but no, you're too, maybe I'll fold you over. I could make a little card. That might be cute. I know I'm going to have to do it like this. All right, I'll try that. I'll try it. Let's see if I fold you in half. Will you fit? You might, it's going to be tight. We better go with one. Let's go with one. We know you're going to fit with one. All right, you were the big kahuna, so we'll put you back in prototype number one. Now you, let's just glue you on and we'll figure it out. Just, just glue it on we'll figure it out, Pam. We should do the one that's sitting down. Yeah, let's do him. All right, we'll put him. That wasn't good. Okay, we got our glue. And then let's get this guy down. Okay. All right, the glue's underneath. You just go trim this out. So I've got this on the back, this on the front. I'm over here cutting up my guillotine cutter. All right, let's just cut you off. I don't want to cut that little bird. Okay, here we go. Oh, I completely cut it crooked. Could you figure? Yeah, I know. You're like, of course you did. Of course you did. All right, but but I found something else fun. I found that. Okay, what do we get? Oh, I have a piece sticking off here. I don't know. That was a How Not to Cut by Pam at the Paper Outpost. <laughs> okay, so what do we have? Now, this little guy is sewed around. So you can sew around. This was a simple zigzag stitch. I'm not going to sew around the one on camera. So you're cute, but I think I went around your corners, and I think you'll be cuter. Oh no, I moved my, my corner chopper. It's up here now. Oh, okay. Did I move everything? Can you still see? Okay, it's my corner chomper. This is called a Cropodile Corner Chomper, if you're looking for it. Okay. So this is just something fun. Somebody can, oh, somebody can find and have fun with. Yeah, they'll be like, what's this little bird? He's so cute, and look at the pretty paper on the back. I wonder if that's from an old book page. And you're going to be thinking, yes, yes, it is. It is from an old book page. What's that, Sonny? I'm not here, Mom. Okay, fine. <laughs> he's, he's ditched me for better grounds, higher grounds. Must Papa must be upstairs doing a video or something. He likes to sit in Papa's lap. Mama wiggles around too much. Like she flies across the room on a rolly chair, and he, he has to sort of watch where his feet are. Okay. Yeah? Okay. In the, in the bucket. And if you want to put a little tab, you can do that. Um, what do we have? This is very pretty. Oh, we have you. You're very nice, though. Sometimes it's just hard to tell. It's overwhelming. There's so much, you know? There's so much. Um, let's do something simple. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have some. We, I showed you how to do this little trick the other day. It's super easy. If you want just a simple tab on something, just take a little piece of washi like that. Not even cut straight or anything, but just fold it back and give it a little tab. So make it have a little topper like that. And you've got a little pull tab. So there we go. Yeah. Instant, instant and easy. Very simple. Okay. So this is our number one prototype, which has the pocket in the back. Okay. So now you, I'm looking 
looking for the other one. Oh, there it is. And you are complete. And you get back in there. I don't want to go. You know, you have to. That's where you belong. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so even the same concept done two different ways, but still, I think, kind of cute, kind of fun. All right. So that is those. And now we're going to go on to number two. This is the accordion folder idea. Very easy. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to grab a book page off our Never End list because we got it a book um, text block. Here we go. Here we have this. And what I did with this one was I made it a little more, not that one, I made it a little more narrow. I cut off the edges and I'll, I'll show you why I did that because I can't cut straight. That's what I've learned. So let me show you what happened and why I did it that way. And then you can probably make it better. Okay, so first of all, same concept. Let's move this so you can see. Um, you're looking at it. The text is the right way. I want you to turn it upside down. Grab the bottom, fold it up to where you think you would like it to be. And then you've got the top. You can fold it down to where you think you would like it to be. And everything magically has the text going the right way. All is good. And we're crossing along. We are, we're opening this part up. We're just putting the ink, the ink. We're putting the glue here and here. And we've essentially completed the world's easiest envelope. Uh, now... Let's take a simple concept and make it complicated. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I grabbed a piece of, this is just, the weight of this paper is copy paper. It's just regular printer paper. I got a piece here. And I just did some coffee staining on it. Um, but you can use any paper, any scrapbook paper. It doesn't matter. Uh, but what I did was I took this. Okay, let's see. I don't know, it really doesn't matter which way you use this. I took this and I measured it. I didn't measure it. I, I lined it up. And I said to myself, self, if you were smart, you would just, where's that pencil? Um, you would just draw a line. So when you go over and you can just trim this whole long sheet. So that's what I did. So I'm going, I'm, maybe I cannot even leave here. I'm going to stay with you. And I'm going to, got my ruler and I'm going to tear it so it's the same width all the way down. So, oh, I'm still here. Look at that. I never left. Um, that was kind of cool. Ah. Uh, Oh, I think I, hang on. Yep. All right, right at this moment, which I should have already done, I took, I should have done this before, but I'm doing it late in the game. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm going to put a thumb hole, a giant thumb hole with this two and a half inch paper punch. Okay, now watch. See if this works. It didn't work for me first time, and I'll show you what I did to fix it. Okay, that's exactly what I got, this, this, that was like awful, right? So then I took another piece of paper and I put it behind it exactly where it should be. And that's going to give it enough strength, thickness. It's going to give enough thickness so that when I go and I do this again, come on, baby, work for mama. Get in there. Ready? And it magically works. So that's what it needs is a little extra thickness. That's just another piece of copy paper, thickness paper. And now we are good as gold. And I have to restick my glue because it's all gone. Um, now this one I might not have to do, but I'll, I'll explain to you why this one is narrower. Yeah, I had a little foible happen. And I'll try and show you what I did. Okay. So what we're going to do, so we're going to take this and we're going to glue it on there. That's right. That's not too hard, right? We can do that. I'm going to use the Fabrifix for this. I'm just going to look at a little rectangle. That's fine. A little bit in the middle. That's good. Just get close to the edges. That would be preferable. And you can kind of move it around a little bit if you smoosh it with your fingers. But there you go. You know what I mean? There you go. Okay. I think I need to bring it closer here because it's a little fancy here. All right. So we're going to take this. Here's our envelope in front, right? I haven't inked anything. Probably should have. But we didn't. We're carrying on. I'm going to fold it down until I see the top. You need to come closer. I want, you, I want your nose right in there. So you can see the top of the back of the flap, and I want to fold it right at the edge of the top of the back of the flap. Does that make sense? Let me show you. So it's like that. Oh, can't see that. So it's like that. Okay. I'm going to back up a little bit. Let me be a little close. Okay. So now I'm going to fold up again. I'm going to go just a smidge, like maybe an eighth of an inch above where the other one landed. Can you see that? Probably not. Let me go closer. See how there's like an eighth of an inch? Can you see that? See there, there you can see it. Okay, like an eighth of an inch. Okay, now do the same thing. Come down. But now try try for the same level at the top. We're trying to make the top the same 
height, if you can. It's not always easy, but if you can, it would be awesome. Okay, now fold back on itself. You can see the rest of, you can't see anything. Okay, you can see the rest of your envelope here. Now fold another quarter of an inch. I mean, an eighth of an inch, like a hair. We're talking two hairs. Two sunny hairs higher. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that from the bottom? And then we're going to, I don't know why I'm doing that it that way. I just think it looks kind of cool. Um, there. And then you do that one at the same height as the top. Now another quarter of an inch up. Not quarter of an inch. Like a, an eighth of an inch up. So you have like little stair steps going there. That part's not mandatory. I just kind of threw it in for fun because I wanted to ink it. And I knew that it would... Uh, show up better if I did it that way. And then the last one doesn't even have to fit. It doesn't have to be perfectly at the top or the bottom, but it just want you want to have that little stair stepping. So the same thing happened to me this time. For some reason, even though I measured it like pseudo measured, this stuck way over. This isn't at the same thing. So no matter what you do, that happens a lot. So what I did was I went to my guillotine and I cut it right to the line of the, where the text starts on either side. So let me go do that. You're going to hear me over here with the guillotine. Here I am with the guillotine. It's under there and I am now cutting. Okay. And what am I cutting off? All my glue, right? Yeah. So that makes that part absolutely useless, what I did <laughs> with the gluing. But what we can do is we can come in and glue again. Yeah. It's kind of neat. All right, so that's all I did. I just came back in here and I glued again. Remember, don't go backwards. Just keep going forwards. All right, we got a little bit of glue down and we're back in action. We just have a smaller... Um, oh, did I do that wrong? Uh, oh, something not right. That's what we Oh, I folded them all backwards. Oh, flabbernats. Okay, so it's, yeah, I folded them so they, for some reason, stuck underneath, which you could totally do. But the way I designed this one was that the fold was all on the top of the thing. This one, t this time, they're all underneath the flap. You know what? Let's roll with it and just see what happens. And I, I still have my strange little stair step, so I think it's going to be okay. This is how we don't go backwards. We just carry on. Um, this time I think I'm going to use, I haven't used pink yet. So let's do a pink one. What do we got? What do we got? We got worn lipstick, which is really worn. Okay, let's give it the old squirt. This is just water. And, uh, oh, that's really wet. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, here we go. Let's ink this baby. Just sort of reactivates your ink so it's really good and juicy. You can also put a little glycerin in your um, bottle if you want because it's a natural humectant. And, okay, so there's all my little stair steps. This was the thing. I was trying to do that so it could show. It would have nice little colored edges, which I thought were so cute. Boy, I sure hope this idea works. Um, we're just going to find out together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to do that into the sides. Don't forget to do the sides. It's very complete. Okay, so the concept of this one, as I'm making it up as I go, is going to be... I'm just emphasizing the edging here, which I think looks very nice. It looks like a two-year-old came along who had her mother's lipstick and played with it, but I think it looks kind of cool. All right there. The concept with this one is there will be a little something here to have you go like this and you could have all that writing space. All of it. All of it to do what you want with. That's right. You can log your entire life's journey on there and it's going to fold up magically super easy. There we go. Okay. So what can I use that will be here that will say, hey, hey, there's something to do there. Don't, don't you run away and think there's nothing to do there. There's something to do there. Okay. Well, let me go. Let me actually go in my I have another little container called Punched. Oh my God, it's 43 minutes. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we have to move on. You stop talking. Just start, start crafting. Um, get something flat. No, nope. too big? Yeah, too big, won't fold. Okay, it has to be very small. Very small. Okay, I'm looking for something very small. Okay, less talking, more crafting. Oh, here we go, perfect, found it. I have a little leaf. There we go. We're just going to put that baby down. Oh, we could actually put it up. We could put it just like that. So it no, there. Okay, just stick it down, Pam. No more fussing. Craft. Get in there and craft your pants off. Okay, here we go. There we go. Let's put you like that. Okay, so now that's going to be like that. Now we have to put something pretty on there because, you know, there's, there's nothing there. Um, where'd that guy go? Why does it move? I have my old two ones. I have my third one coming up. And where is the, where is the one I'm working on? 
Here, right here. Okay, so this is the one where I turned it into a paper clip. Okay, this is a cool idea. I must show you this. And it happens really fast. So you grab any cluster of choice. Here's cluster of choice. This is just scraps I stapled together. Can you see the staple in the center? Just a staple. That's all it is. It's, it's nothing to it. Grab a paper clip. That's right. I'm going to use a bigger one. Um, and I'm going to use... Okay, have it like be covered by your entire cluster. Put it on the back and then take a piece of paper. I don't know, any piece of paper, anything, anything at this point. Okay, you want to take your paper clip and then you want to slide this piece of paper in between the big loop and the small loop. Okay, you get it in there like that. Okay, leave the little loop on the outside. That's going to be the side that shows. Turn it over, you're looking at the big loop. Now, I tore it because I just thought it looked kind of cool. But you don't have to tear it, but you can. And if you want to, go for it. Okay. Um, I kind of ran out there. Okay, I think I can go from the top here. You want to have enough edge around it so you have something to glue down. Okay, so we have that. And that's plenty. And then take your glue stick and make sure you're looking at the big, the big enchilada um, paperclip side. Okay, got that? Put your glue there. And then I want you to take your cluster, and what, now you're looking at the little paperclip side. Glue's on the back with the big side. Glue the big side down. Just anywhere. Okay. And we use like a regular piece of paper. It just sort of blends into your design. If there's a little bit of it hanging out, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Now turn it over. Now we have the closure. We have that. I know, right? Okay, you're gonna say, well, that doesn't look so great because, oh, it came off. It's not dry, <laughs> it's not dry yet. <laughs> Put it back on. Okay. Um, let's emphasize this up a bit because it needs some up in this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna pink it up. I'm gonna pink it up. There we go. I'm just gonna seriously pink this up. And then I might even come in with some brown. Yeah, I might I might just do that. Not the black. No, no, where's the brown? Brown do that. Here it is. Here's the brown dopper. Okay, gathered twigs. And just some accent brown here, right there, there, there. There, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's very good. Now that is drying while we're flub flubbling here. And I think I'm just going to emphasize the edges of this so it has a little bit of something, whatnot. You can just see it a little bit more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And around the edges where the, they join across here. And then we're gonna take the what? What do we take? The water squirt. There you go. And we use your finger go closer so you can see Whoop, there we are and then we're just going to oh look at it blossom yeah it just becomes all grungy super cool all right okay this happens relatively quickly if I st stay focused and stop talking okay I didn't get that spot okay there we go okay so it's 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 becoming itself mm-hmm I'm gonna take this I think did I ink everywhere I didn't ink the back get in there Pam you finish your inking be like Sybil's mother. Finish your inking. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not like Sybil's mother. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Anybody remember that movie? Weird movie. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can't, you couldn't see any of that. Okay, there you go. That's cool, isn't it? I like that a lot. Okay, so we have that. And then we have that. So you never know what your cluster is going to be. So this one, it already has a cute little thing on there. So I don't think I'm going to, maybe I just am going to put something like that to cover the, sure. Why not? And you don't really have to put anything on there, but I'm just here with this little piece. So I'm going to use it up because I have this need to use up every little thing on my desk. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we are. And do we put something on the bottom? Yes, we did. We put a stamp. You go over there and get yourself a stamp, Sally. All right, I'm over here. I'm getting a stamp. Which stamp should I get? Don't be fussy. Just grab one. Okay, here's a lovely stamp. Angola. Yes, isn't that beautiful? All right, let's maybe emphasize her in pink. That would be pretty. Just a little bit on there. That'd be nice. So yeah, beautiful old postage stamps. They're so much fun to work with when you're crafting. They're beautiful works of art. A uh, little mini canvases and uh, oh, it's historical. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, I know, I know. So this, this whole thing comes off. And then this opens. I can't see anything. 
this opens up. Look, they have all that writing space, and they never knew that was coming. And then you can tuck something fun inside there. Do I have something? Do I have time to show you something fun inside? No, no, we don't. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Let's put that back on there. And I want to show you the last one. What did I put in here? So just so you can see, I put in a picture. And I just made a little thing out of uh, avocado dyed paper. So you can put fun things like that inside. All right. And they're very easy to function as I'm fumbling with it. And they're a great way to use up extra book pages. Okay, so, oh, I also put a, a little pocket corner in the back. You can definitely do that. Um, but I want to show you this concept before I go. Okay, so this is the exact same concept. The world's easiest envelope to make. The only thing you do is you glue two of them together first. So let's look at our book pages. Here's our book pages. Let's take two. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I took two. I put them together. I think I did run a bead of glue down so they wouldn't run around on me there. Okay. Put them together however you want. And then I took a big honking piece of um, wide washi tape and stuck them together. This is not mandatory, but if you happen to have it, you can use it. It's just a little extra structure. It can match. It can be contrasted. It doesn't matter. Oh, they're doing some like patio washing or something next door. It's very noisy. Sorry, guys. And uh, so we have that. And uh, where's it? Yeah, here's prototype. And then, okay, let's just get to the meat of it. Um, I folded it up. No, I turned it, like, looking at it, the text is the right way. What do we do? We turn it over. Okay, now I think I'm going to put a piece here because that looks funky town. Okay. All right, so don't get it all balled up. Come on, bam, hold it straight. Hold it straight. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, and, and if it goes too long, you can just wrap it over the top and under the bottom. Yeah, so you don't have to do extra cutting. There we go. Very nice, very nice. All right, so now fold it up. Now I'm noticing that my text is the right side up. Isn't that nice? Awesome, just like I planned. And uh, this, I can fold it down. Okay, and before we do anything, um, now this one, I did some collage on the inside. So I was using up the strips that I have. I decided I was only going to collage what showed. So anything above this. So just grab some... Uh, uh, pieces, but don't start from the top down because and then as you layer them, you're going to have that edge and stuff's going to get stuck there. So you want to start from the bottom up. You can do it all the way on the inside, but I'm just going to do like maybe here. Okay. Now this is where I, I did have a glue mat, which is it's gone now. I don't know where it is, but we're just going to we're just going to quickly use up our scraps. Go for it. Use what's on your desk. It's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's put it there. Let's put it down. And you can trim it all off later. Yep, you can. I got lots of this stuff, so we're, we're going to put more of this down. Yep. Keep it all. Oop, nope, nope, not that bad. That's what you get when you're rushing. Okay, relax. It's okay. There's no rush. All right, put that down. There. Put that down. There. That's very good. Some more scraps, Pam. Go dig. Go big or go home. Going big. Going home. Going big and I'm home already. So there you go. All right. I'm just going to take it all the way to the top. I'm just going to, we're going to finish this. Mm-hmm. There we go. And we're not worrying too much about the edges. Why? Because we're going to tack it all down with washi tape. That's right. And so if you're one of those who has extra washi tape around, this is going to be your day. That's right. This is going to be your day. It's going to be a good day. Okay, take those little extras, and guess what? We got enough for the top. There we go. I'm going to fold you over. And there we go. And when you thought we were out of, of everything, this little, can you see? Yeah, this little piece yields my little leftover that I needed. Okay, there we go. Now, don't worry if it doesn't go right to the top. Why? Because... Um, we're going to put a piece of washi tape there. So this is the washi tape that I have. Now this, this little thing seems to be giving me a little, it's like all hanging up. Now I could do one of two things. I could come along here with my glue stick and I could just glue stick it some more, which is probably what I should do. Yes, that would be good. And then we're, we're out of that 
There, everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you're not fine. Okay. Now you're fine. Okay. Well, you're not fine either? Well, you're going to be fine because I'm going to glue you down. There you go. All right, we're good. Now let's just go along here and trim off anybody who wasn't paying attention. Everybody is good. Oh, we got a few here that are not a little bit of a hangover. So we're going to just trim you off. And then we're going to washi tip this baby up. So we don't have to do any inking on this one because why? We're going to washi tape it. So um, let's start with the top here. We're just going to go, okay, just pick something a little longer than what you got, what you need. And then put it on about halfway. It doesn't have to be exact because the other side's going to go underneath. So um, let's at least try to not fold it. That would be nice. Okay, well, that was not even, but not bad. Not bad, Sally, for a rush job. Okay. Oh, sometimes I feel like Lucille Ball in the candy factory. That was really not close, Pam. Yeah, that was like subpar. Can we please fix that? Okay, so you don't have to go backwards. Just go forward and do this. Yeah, you just kind of measure it like that. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to fold that over. And that only reinforces it and makes it a little thicker and everybody's happy in the end. It's all fine. Right? Trim that off. Trim that off. Oh, what's going on here? It's all bunched up. What are you doing? You must, you must play by the rules. There are no rules. There are no rules. Right, right. I know, I know. I know. Death by my own words. Okay. Um, let us figure out where we want this to come down. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's pretty good. And then let's do the... This is helpful if you get this straight at the top. Let me just, let me just say that, okay? You come here... You put that halfway and just trim that off there. This one's kind of straight. Come over here. Whoop. Get that on there. Come down about halfway across. Okay, so now we're, we're going to close this up. Oh, yeah, they're like drilling or something next door. I think they're drilling for oil now. Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm sure of it. Okay, I can, apparently can't fold straight here. Um, Fold, folding in place. Well, this is going to have a nice little extra room inside because I didn't, I didn't get it straight. <laughs> well, that's okay. We we can hold more in here then. That's fun. What the heck? We're already at an hour. Let's just finish this right. Okay, so this we are going to do the top. Okay, well, just a little hangover about halfway. Tear it off here fold it over. It's an easy process. I'm, I'm dramatizing way more than this need be because I just, I just having fun with you guys. You guys are fun to hang out with. So thank you. Thank you for being fun to hang out with. Um, and then let's do this. Maybe I can trim all those off in one fell swoop pants. No, we're going to trim that right there where it meets that edge. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, then we're going to fold over. Okay, that's good. A little extra piece there. You never know when you leave a little extra piece. So let's put you... So let's just start from the bottom. Wouldn't that be easier, Pam? Yes, that'd be much easier. There we go. Trim you off. Fold you over. Trim you off at the top. Now we are looking all decorated. There we have it. What is this? This is weird. Let's fix that. Okay. Okay, we did it. I think I need a little extra piece in there. Like a little piece of tape or something. Yeah, that's good. All right, there we go. Grow it down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's pretty forgiving, washing tape. You can... Washing tape. It's not washing tape. It's washi tape. I don't know why it's called washi tape. It just is. You can, maybe you can wash it out if you get it stuck to your clothes. I don't know. I don't know. That's the basic concept. So now what do we have? We have a bigger pocket on the inside, a longer one. So if you want a longer pocket, same concept, just do it like this. I put a piece. Um, so this one had a little lace pocket in front. Let's do that quickly. And my lace went where? Where is it? Here, you were here. And now you're not. So okay, we're gonna use you then because you're here. There we go. You're very pretty, aren't you? Yes, yes, I like you a lot. 
Um, no, I found, I found the lookalike lace. Here it is. Yeah. See, I am prepared. You thought I wasn't. I am. So I'm going to put that on the edge where I want it and then figure out exactly where to cut that and then cut it. Can you still see me? I hope so. And then uh, I'm going to glue here, down along the bottom, get some on my desk, of course, and then up here. I'm just going to put that decoratively here. Okay, so that's not in the right place. There we go. There we go. All right, so uh, then I'm going to decorate this up a little bit more, but I'm going to punch a hole in here so I can do, this is one of those lanyard name card punches. Um, I have a link for that in my Etsy shop if you're looking for that, but it's very handy because it makes a nice, a nice uh, punch thing there. No, that one I already used. Hang on. I got to get a, a new thread. Hold on. All right, I located a little piece of uh, lace. And you can use string too, you don't have to use lace. You can use embroidery thread, you can use yarn, um, lots of fun things, but these will easily go through here. And then you can do the, this little maneuver, pull that. And now this, you can uh, split this and tie it like that, okay? See how that works? Really cute, right? It's a very easy, adorable cuteness closure. Okay, so now when you have that and you're all stuffed with your envelope and everything and life is grand, um, maybe now you want to decorate this up. So I took some liquid pearls. So let's just go ahead and decorate this one up maybe a little bit differently. I think I'm going to use gray and gold. That's weird. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm going to use purple and copper. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to, this is Liquid Pearls in Orchid. And so I am going to just put it down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. So that's amazing, right? And then, and then for my next act, where's my prototype? Oh, here's the prototype. Okay, that's where it had it. Okay. All right, so now... I don't have to do it the same way. No, nope. I'm just gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. What is this? What? It's Nuvo, oh, oh, 445, okay. This is uh, Nuvo Drops in Copper Penny. That's what, I really like that. Oh, I smudged it. See, I was talking to you guys and I smudged it. Okay, well, whatever. I'll just carry on as if it never happened. Whoop, doop, 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 uh, doop, doop. And I think that's that. And then, and then I decorated some on the top. I had a strip of pretties across the top, but I think I'm just going to use some more Nouveau drops here so you can kind of get the, the feel for how pretty these are. These are just so pretty, do bigger ones. And with the Nouveaus, you can kind of regulate the size. You should probably untie this, but I don't have time. So I'm just gonna do it as if I did. There you go. And you can go ahead and tuck things in there. You can have fun. You could put a little, um, you know, a butterfly in here if you wanted to do that. That would look really cute. And um, you can also stick something on the back and I'll show you what I, I stuck on the back here. Just a little cutout, a die cut. And inside I put the, uh, the papers that I showed you before and you can go ahead and put those in here. But I think we're gonna wrap it up because we are rolling over the one hour mark and I'm, I'm, I hope you didn't pass out because there is really a lot of fun to be had with different ways of making envelopes. And I want you to have a lot of fun having um, a lot of different ideas to do simple and fun stuff so you can make your journals amazing. Um, so let's take a look at what we made. And if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, please sign up. There's a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the book maker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, updates from me, peeks at my digikits, and um, page ideas. And um, I also have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. I have an Etsy shop which um, will house journals when they're ready, bundles when they're ready. Uh, always my vintage digi kits. There's over 160 now, uh, 156, something like that. I have fundles, which are collections of old and interesting uh, papers and old and interesting book pages. So you might have some fun checking those out if you like to feel the feel of old paper and you want to have a, a nice little collection of fun things to play with in your junk journals. And I also have a print and mail service. If you do not have a printer, I will print and mail 10 digi kit sets to you for one fee and uh, 
Priority mail shipping is included. You just send me your list of names of 10 digikits to pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email address. Or you can Etsy message me your list of 10. And then I will ship those, print and ship those out to you personally. And uh, I have an Amazon shop where you can find favorite tools and supplies that I, you see me use here on the show. The show. <laughs> and uh, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon, you might like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something fun for yourself or for a family member. Uh, feel free to check those out. I do podcasts, which you can't, if you just can't get enough junk journal stuff going through your brain, um, I do podcast Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I also salt and pepper in some video podcasts um, the rest of the week on Spotify. So you're going to find four years worth of podcasts, all sorts of topics on life of a crafter, um, junk journals, um, your questions answered. I mean, you name it, we talk about it. We roll up our sleeves and go deep. All my links are located down below. And if, remember, most of all, the fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. If I could find Sonny, I'm sure he would have something to say, but we'll catch up with him next time. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Bye-bye.